So you're thinking about moving to Kansas City. Well, don't move to Kansas City without checking out Overland Park first. So today I'm going to take you through three neighborhoods in Overland Park at three different price points so you can get an idea of what you can get for your budget. And right now I'm in the Corbin Park area of Overland Park, which you can see offers a lot of different shopping and restaurants. Um, it's a really happening place that you will definitely want to check out while you're in Overland Park. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our tour and be sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share some really interesting facts about Overland Park and we're gonna get started right Hi, now. Hi, my name is Cheryl McCormick and we get calls and texts and emails from people just like you every single day wanting to know about moving to Kansas City and we absolutely love it. So whether you're planning on moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, a text or an email. All the information is below and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Kansas City. So as I mentioned before, we are in Overland Park, um, just pretty much the central part of Overland Park. And um, Overland Park is one of the largest suburbs in Kansas City. It has a population of about 197,000 people. Um, it has tons of shopping and restaurants, lots of things to do. Here we're in the Corbin Park area, as I said, and you can see it has some of my favorite places. Um, there's a Sprouts Market behind me. There are several restaurants, um, high-end shopping. If you're looking for furniture, it's one of the, probably the best places to find furniture stores here in the Overland Park area. According to bestplaces.com, Overland Park has positive job growth. The average commute time is about 20.4 minutes. And then this is really interesting. According to niche.com, Overland Park is the number one place to buy a house. It's the number four place to raise a family. And it's the number five place in America of best places to live. Today I'm gonna to take you around to three different communities in Overland Park at three different price points. So you can see what you can get in your budget. I'm gonna take you to around a $300,000 house, around 600 and around 900,000. And so we're gonna get after it right now. We are at our first stop in Overland Park. Um, this is a neighborhood that was built around the 1960s. Um, it's a very popular neighborhood. It's more toward the northern end of Overland Park. Very nice neighborhood, lots of shade, big trees, um, centrally located. You have easy access to highways. If you're wanting to go to the plaza, it's only about 20 minutes from here. Um, again, a very nice neighborhood. The house that I'm gonna show you right now, this home is four bedrooms, three baths, a double car garage, a little over 1,900 square feet, and they're asking 325 for this home. So again, you get a lot of home for the money. Um, two car garage, nice yard. The homes in this neighborhood, again, they're very well kept up. There's lots of nice shade. It's just a very nice, place if you're interested in um, the 300 range you can probably get in here for the three to four hundred thousand dollar range again a very nice neighborhood in nor northern overland park
we're at our second stop in Overland Park. And here, homes in this neighborhood average in the five to six hundreds. Still a very family friendly neighborhood. As you can see, again, the homes are very well cared for, nicely manicured yards. Most of the homes have three car garages. And we're coming up on a home here. This home behind me has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, right around 4,000 4, square feet, just slightly over and it's listed for $509,000. So you can see, um, you get a lot more value here, um, a lot more house. These homes probably range around 15 to 20 years old, but they are very well kept up. Um, again, a nice family friendly neighborhood. Centrally located close to shopping, close to restaurants, coffee shops. And this neighborhood is actually very close to Johnson County Community College. So if you have kids that are, want to take courses or maybe you wanna take some courses at the college, it's very convenient for that. Um, fairly easy access to highways, just a nice, nice, great location, a nice neighborhood to live in. We're at our last stop in Overland Park, and this is a neighborhood that's in Southern Overland Park. Um, you can see the homes here are pretty new. Um, this is a very upscale neighborhood. Um, homes in this neighborhood range from 800 to above a million. Um, there's an elementary school within the neighborhood, which is really convenient for families. You can see the homes are large, they're well manicured. It's really a beautiful place to live. We're gonna come up here on a home that's for sale. And this home is six bedrooms, seven baths, a little over 5,100 square feet. And it is listed for 949,000. You can see it's a beautiful, beautiful home. Three car garage, a very large home, very well manicured, just a beautiful home. You get so much home for your money. Um, in South Overland Park, this is where you're going to see most of your newer homes. You're, if you want new construction, you will definitely find that in South Overland Park. It's just a beautiful, beautiful area to live in. 
beautiful neighborhoods, um, lots of parks, great schools. Um, you would really enjoy this part. So next I'm going to take you on a drive around the neighborhood, show you a little I'm here in old downtown Overland Park, a historic section of Overland Park, and I promised you if you stayed until the end that I would share a little known fact about Overland Park. So I'm here in a parking lot which just looks like not much is going on right now, but every weekend this turns into a farmer's market. And according to the 14th annual America's Farmers Market celebration, Old Overland Park's Farmers Market ranks number one in the nation. It's the best farmers market in the whole nation, according to uh, that site. So it's pretty special to come down here and enjoy with your friends and your family on the weekends. It's a great place to hey, go. Thank you so much for staying around for my vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And remember, whether you're planning to move in nine days or 90 days, uh, give me a call, send me a text, um, send me an email, and I will be glad to help you make a smooth move to Kansas City. So thanks again, and until next time, I'll see you around town.